Open world games are amazing. You can go shooting guns, drive fast cars, and hacking people down in hilarious ways. So in this video, we're taking a look at the best free open world games on Steam. So prepare yourself as we delve deep into open world games. Number 1. Conqueror's Blade, a free-to-play MMO that will combine strategy, action, and large-scale medieval combat. In this game, you are a warlord, and you will lead your armies into epic battles to try and conquer territories and build your own empire. One of the best features is the massive open-world battles and the detailed unit management, which makes the game really stand out. Furthermore, the game has both PvE and PvP, and you'll be commanding your units, but also participating directly in the fray. The main gameplay will involve careful planning, strategic use of your troops, and then real-time combat skills. And if you enjoy grand strategy games, this game is perfect for you. With deep customization and a progression system, it really provides long-term replayability. And it's hands down one of the most underrated games on Steam. Number 2. Walking Zombie 2. A first-person RPG shooter that is set in a world completely filled with zombies. And you are a survivor. You must complete quests, upgrade your skills, and then fight off a ton of zombies. One unique feature is a blend of RPG elements and shooter mechanics. Now in Walking Zombie 2, you'll explore the world. You'll encounter a lot of different enemies and PCs, and the main gameplay will involve a lot of shooting and leveling up. Furthermore, the game has a wide range of weapons and equipment that you can then collect. So if you enjoy RPGs and first-person shooters, in a great open world, Walking Zombie 2 is right up your alley. Number 3. Torque Drift, a racing game with a big focus on realistic drifting mechanics and competitive multiplayer. Now you'll play in various tracks all around the world. You can then also customize your car and compete against other players in a ton of drifting competitions. One of the best features is the attention to detail, both in terms of car physics but also the customization. Additionally, you can tune and upgrade your cars to improve performance and style. And the main gameplay will involve mastering the art of drifting, executing really tight turns, and then of course competing in big online events. So if you love cars and drifting, Tark Drift is a perfect game for you. Number 4. America's Army Proving Grounds A first-person shooter with a massive focus on realistic military tactics and teamwork, providing a really authentic combat experience. One unique aspect is the emphasis on realism and training. In terms of the main gameplay, you'll complete missions as part of a squad. You will use real-life tactics and communication, and it will involve a lot of strategic planning, precise shooting, and effective teamwork. So if you're after a realistic military shooter, and you love tactical gameplay, this game is a must-play. Number 5. Rift, an MMORPG where you can explore, complete quests, and battle dynamic events, also known as Rifts. The game has a big focus on deep character customization and large-scale cooperative gameplay. One unique feature is a very dynamic world events, which will bring in a lot of players and fight together to defeat powerful enemies. Furthermore, the game has a ton of various classes and factions, and you can customize your character's abilities and appearances. The main gameplay will involve cresting, raiding, and participating in these world events. So if you want to try a really good free-to-play MMORPG with a very immersive world, Rift is perfect for you. Number 6. Stay Out. A survival MMORPG, and you explore a completely devastated world. It's full of abandoned cities, mutated creatures, and other survivors. And Stay Out has a really unique blend of survival mechanics and RPG elements, which I haven't really seen anywhere else. Now in Stay Out, you must manage your resources, you must craft items, and then complete a ton of quests. The main gameplay will involve exploration, combat, and social interaction. So if you're after a really good survival game mixed with MMORPG elements, but in a really immersive and open world, Stay Out is for you. Number 7. Undefeated, a free-to-play superhero action game where you take on the role of a powerful hero, and you must then protect the city from various threats. The game has a big focus on over-the-top action and superpowers, allowing you to fly, fight, and save the day. One unique feature is a very open world environment and quite dynamic missions, which makes it quite immersive. Now for the main gameplay, you will use your superpowers to fight crime, rescue civilians, and battle powerful enemies. The main gameplay will involve fast-paced combat, flight mechanics, and completing a ton of missions. So if you want to be a superhero in a really action-packed gameplay in a great open world, this is the game for you. Number 8. Crossout. Now Crossout is set in a post-apocalyptic world where you will build and battle with custom vehicles. The game has a focus on creating your own unique combat machine, from scrap part you find around the world, and you will then use your vehicles to battle against other players. And what makes the game truly cool is the endless design creativity when it comes to making your vehicles. Now in Crossout, you don't just get the resources, you have to go out and collect the parts and the resources so you can build your own raw machine. The game also features various modes, there's PvP and PvE, and the driving and shooting mechanics are actually quite easy to learn, even for a new player. So if you want to try a really different game, but still with great mechanics, Crossout is the game for you. Number 9. Dead Frontier 2. 
a multiplayer survival horror game where the world is completely filled with zombies and you will need to scavenge for supplies, craft your own weapons, then complete a ton of objectives. The game is dark and gritty with an atmosphere that really adds to the overall tension and it's quite immersive. Furthermore, the game also has cooperative gameplay if you want to team up with a friend. Now in terms of the main gameplay, you explore a big open world that is filled with a lot of dangers and it will involve completing objectives, fighting off the zombie hordes and managing resources. Additionally, the game mechanics focus on realistic survival elements. This will include very limited ammunition, health management and managing your inventory space. So if you're looking for a really good survival horror game with solo and co-op but in a big scary open world, you should definitely look at Dead Frontier 2. Number 10. Warframe. A third person shooter set in a futuristic universe and you'll control powerful warriors that are also called Warframes. And each of these will come with unique abilities and weapons. The game will feature a wide variety of missions. This will include combat, stealth and exploration. Some of the best features is the very deep customization and the fast paced combat, making this big open world quite immersive but also action packed. Additionally, the game is also online in case you want to team up with your friends and complete the missions together. But the main gameplay will involve mastering your Warframe's abilities, collecting a ton of loot and then upgrading your gear. So if you're looking for a fast paced action game with a big focus on co-op and deep customization, go download Warframe right now. Number 11, Albion Online, a sandbox MMORPG. The game has a big focus on player driven economy, open world PvP and classes character progression. One unique feature is the focus on player choice. You can choose to craft, trade and explore in a truly open environment. Now in Albion Online, you will gather resources, you will craft your own gear and then you can join a guild to participate in large scale battles. The main gameplay will involve managing your resources, engaging in combat then of course teaming up with other players. So if you want to try a really cool MMORPG with a big focus on freedom and player interaction, where deep crafting systems and a dynamic world, Albion Online is the game for you. Number 12. Asphalt 9, a free-to-play racing game that offers high-speed action and stunning graphics. You can drive in many real-world locations with a wide range of licensed cars and then compete in fast-paced races. One unique aspect is the very arcade style of gameplay, providing a truly fun racing experience. You can customize your car, perform great stunts, and then of course also race against other players in multiplayer mode. The main gameplay will involve precise controls, strategic use of nitro boosts, and mastering the different tracks. So if you love racing games with intense action and beautiful visuals, Asphalt 9 is the game for you. Number 13, Unturned, a sandbox survival game. Set a post-apocalyptic world completely overrun by zombies. The game has a main focus on survival, and you do this by scavenging for resources, building your own shelter, and then crafting weapons. Some of the best aspects is the deep customization and the modding support. Now in Unturned, you will need to manage your hunger, your thirst, and health while fending off tons of zombies that are trying to kill you. Oh, and of course, also other players. The game will feature both PvP and PvE, with a big variety of maps to explore. Furthermore, the crafting and building systems are quite extensive, providing a lot of different ways for you to make and fortify your base. So if you enjoy survival games with great mechanics and a co-op aspect, you should really try Unturned. Number 14, Neverwinter, an MMORPG that offers a really epic adventure with quite rich lore and dynamic combat. You can choose from various classes and they all come with their own abilities and you must then embark on a quest and battle monsters. One of the best aspect is the fast paced action oriented combat, which really stands out from a lot of MMORPGs. Now in terms of the main gameplay, you complete a ton of quests, you explore dungeons, and you can then join PvP battles to try and earn experience and loot. Furthermore, the game has quite extensive character customization and a deep progression system as well. So if you enjoy fantasy RPGs with a quite immersive story, you should really try Neverwinter. Number 15. Sarah Survival, an open world survival game set in a near future dystopia. You will need to scavenge for resources, craft gear, and then survive against hostile AI robots and other players. One of the best aspects is to focus on both PvE and PvP, so basically everyone is out to get you. Furthermore, the game has a very large map and you will need to gather resources and then engage in both friendly and hostile encounters. The main gameplay will involve managing your health, your stamina and inventory while crafting and upgrading your equipment. So if you're after a survival game with a good mix of both PvP and PvE in a big open world, then Sarah Survival is the game for you. Number 16, Star Wars The Republic, an open world MMORPG. And the game starts with you creating a character and you can of course choose from various classes and factions and all of these classes will come with their own unique storylines and abilities. One of the game's best aspects is the rich narrative and a really good cinematic storytelling providing a quite immersive experience if you're a Star Wars fan. Now in terms of the main gameplay you complete a ton of quests, you will engage in space battle and then participate in large scale pvp and pve actions and this gameplay will involve choosing your path as either a hero or a villain and then mastering your character's abilities and then exploring a quite iconic Star Wars world. So if you are a fan of Star Wars and you want to try a quite deep narrative where the focus is on character-driven stories, this game is for you. 
Number 17, War Thunder, a military combat game that features realistic land, air, and sea battles. And the game has a ton of different vehicles. This will include tanks, aircraft, and ships, and you must then engage in massive battles. And the game has quite realistic mechanics and detailed vehicle models. Now, in terms of the main gameplay, there's both PvP and PvE missions. But in both of them, you must choose a lot of strategy and skill to outmaneuver your opponents. Furthermore, the gameplay is quite realistic, both in terms of its physics, but also detailed damage models. So if you enjoy a military game with a big focus on realism and strategy, War Thunder is right up your alley. Number 18, Destiny 2, a sci-fi shooter set in a very detailed universe, where you play as a guardian and you need to defend humanity from various threats. The game has a big focus on fast-paced combat, deep lore, and co-op gameplay. One of the best aspects is the blend of first-person shooter and RPG elements, offering a quite dynamic and immersive experience. Now in terms of the main gameplay, you complete a ton of missions, you explore open world environments, and then join both in PvE and PvP action. And all of this will involve mastering different weapons, abilities, and gear to enhance your overall character. So if you want to try a really action-packed shooter with a quite strong narrative, Destiny 2 is a game for you. Number 19, Arid, a free-to-play survival game is in a harsh open world, and you will need to manage your resources, stay hydrated, and then find shelter to survive. One of the best aspects is a quite realistic depiction of what it would actually be like to survive in a desert. And in terms of the main gameplay, you will need to explore the desert, gather resources, and then craft tools to help you survive. The gameplay has a big focus on realistic survival challenges. This could be dehydration, heat stroke, and very limited resources. So if you're up for a challenging survival game that is quite realistic in its approach, in a beautiful yet haunting open world, Arid is the perfect game for you. Number 20, Copa Petrobras de Marcas, a free-to-play racing game in the heart of Brazil. And the game has a big focus on realistic racing mechanics and authentic Brazilian motorsport. Now, in terms of the main gameplay, you can compete in a ton of different races. You can customize your car and then try and master every track. And it will involve a lot of precise driving skills, strategic use of racing lines, and a quite fierce competitive multiplayer. So if you love racing games and you want to try a quite realistic approach, this game is for you. Number 21, Realm of the Mad God Exile, bullet hell MMORPG that offers really fast-paced cooperative gameplay. Now at the start, you can choose from various classes and then team up to battle hordes of enemies and powerful bosses. Now in terms of the main gameplay, you will need to explore dungeons, collect a ton of loot, and then level up your character. Furthermore, the game's bullet hill mechanics requires really quick reflexes and good movement if you want to dodge the enemy. So if you want to try a really fast-paced action bullet hell game that even has co-op gameplay, this game is perfect for you. Number 22, Will to Live Online, a survival MMO that is set in a post-apocalyptic world where you must fight for survival, both against mutated creatures, but also other players. And the game has a big emphasis on realistic survival mechanics and RPG elements, which creates a quite immersive world. Now, in terms of the main gameplay, you will gather resources, you will craft gear, and complete a ton of quests. You will need to manage your hunger, thirst, and health while also engaging in combat constantly. So if you enjoy survival games with a big focus on realism and player interaction, this game is for you. Number 23, Black Squad, a free-to-play military shooter that offers really fast-paced combat and a very tactical approach. The game is very intense in terms of the multiplayer combat with a big variety of futuristic weapons and gadgets. And the game is known for its detailed customization options. This could be weapons and your character, which really allows you to tailor your loadout to your exact playstyle. Now, in terms of the main gameplay, you will join in team-based objectives. This could be capturing points or defusing a bomb, but it will involve a lot of precise shooting, tactical positioning, and a great deal of teamwork. So if you're after a military shooter with extensive strategic depth, you need to try this game. Number 24, Totally Accurate Battlegrounds, a free-to-play battle royale game that combines racky physics and a really chaotic gameplay. The game is all about competing against other players in a last person standing match. And in order to do this, you will need to scavenge your weapons, gear, and vehicles. Furthermore, the game does require quite strategic movement, quick decision making, and adapting to the chaos around you. So if you want to try a hilarious battle royale game, this is a must play. Number 25, Planetside 2, a first person shooter set in a massive open world. And you can choose to join one of three factions and then join in large scale battles for control of the planet. And the game is known for really good cooperative gameplay, but a big focus on teamwork and strategy. In terms of the main gameplay, you'll engage in dynamic combat across expansive environments, and you'll do this with a variety of vehicles and weapons. The gameplay will involve strategic planning, communication with your team, and large-scale coordination. So if you're after a really fun shooter with large-scale battles, or with a big focus on teamwork, Planet Side 2 is a game for you. Number 26, Dead Maze, an isometric MMO that'll combine survival with cooperative gameplay. Dead Maze will take place in a world that's completely devastated by a zombie apocalypse, and you'll need to scavenge your resources, build your own shelter, and fight off the zombies. And one of the best features is the big focus on cooperation that really requires you to work together with other players.
players in order to survive. Furthermore, you'll explore a large map, gather resources, and then craft items that will enhance your chances of survival. The main gameplay will involve completing missions, managing your health and hunger, and defending against the zombies. So if you're after a really cooperative survival game with a big focus on community, Dead Maze is the game for you. Number 27, EVE Online. A free-to-play space MMORPG set in a vast persistent universe. And in EVE Online, you can explore, trade, and engage in epic space battles. And the game has a big focus on player-driven economy, large-scale battles, and deep strategy. Furthermore, the game is very complex and has a very expansive universe, offering basically endless opportunities for exploration and conquest. Now, in terms of the main gameplay, you'll be the pilot of a spaceship, and you can then join in massive fleet battles, you can mine for resources, and you can trade in a player-driven market. But all of this will involve a lot of strategic planning, cooperation with other players, and mastering quite complex systems. So if you enjoy space exploration, strategy games, and you have quite a few hours to learn a new game, EVE Online is a great game for you. Number 28, World of Tanks. A multiplayer game with a big focus on tactical combat. One of the coolest aspects is how the tanks are historically accurate, and you'll then use them in team-based battles across a ton of diverse maps. And the game has a big emphasis on strategy and teamwork, making every battle quite a test of both skill, but also coordination with your team. Now, in terms of the main gameplay, you can upgrade and customize your tank. You can join different game modes and then strategize with the team in order to win. Furthermore, the gameplay will involve a lot of mastering your tank controls, your positioning, and using the terrain to your advantage. So if you're after a really strategic combat game, World of Tanks is for you. Number 29, Trove, a sandbox MMO that will combine adventure, building, and exploration in a quite vibrant and voxel-based world. Now in Trove, you can choose from various classes, each with their own unique abilities, and you can explore different biomes and dungeons. And one unique aspect is the emphasis on creativity and player-made content, which allows you to build and share your own creations. Now in terms of the main gameplay, you will need to gather resources, craft items, and build your own base. Furthermore, this gameplay will involve a lot of completing quests, battling enemies, and exploring diverse worlds. So if you're after a really creative game with a mix of RPG elements, Trove is the perfect game for you. Number 30, Old School RuneScape. A free-to-play MMO RPG, where you embark on quests, you'll battle monsters, and then of course interact with the other players. Now in terms of the main gameplay, you can choose from various skills to train, you can join in PvP combat, and explore a vast open world that is filled with a lot of lore, but also adventure. Furthermore, the gameplay will involve completing quests, gathering resources, and engaging in any activity you see fit. So if you want to try a real OG of MMO RPG, I highly recommend trying Old School RuneScape, as it is a true masterpiece. And now for our bonus game, and also one of my favorites on the list, and that is of course Fishing Planet, a free-to-play fishing simulator, and you can fish in many real-world locations. You can try different biomes, different equipment and techniques. The game has a ton of variety, but what makes the game truly unique is the attention to detail and the realistic fishing mechanics. Now in terms of the main gameplay, you will need to select the right gear, correct bait, and fishing spot in order to catch different species of fish. Furthermore, the gameplay has quite realistic water physics, weather conditions, and fish behavior. So if you want to try a really tranquil simulator game that is deeply immersive, Fishing Planet is the game for you. Now, if this video helped you and you found something new to play, I'd much appreciate a like on the video as it really helps out the channel. And let me know in the comments down below if you want more videos like this. But until then, I highly recommend clicking the video on the screen now as that will contain even more amazing games that I think you will enjoy. So click that and I'll see you over there.